Aside from sculpting, Dynamesh is a great way to combine different objects together, kind of like how live boolean works. However, there are some important differences. Since live booleans are non-destructive, whereas Dynamesh booleans become permanently locked in. So let's see how it works. Let's start with easier mode addition. So I will go to my subtool over here. And you can see there are some other uh, subtools which I have. Uh, hide it already because I don't want to see these only I want the face to be there so let's append some uh, primitive over here so I will press the append button here let's for example I want a cone 3d to be there so the cone is there now and I will bring this cone on top of this character in my under the character and you can see that it's there now let's do something funny here let's make him look like he have a unicorn horn so i will just press e on my keyboard to go to scale mode scale it down move it up a bit here and move it outward and what i will do is i will just rotate it in this way stretched it out just like he's kind of unicorn so yeah that's it and i will go back to my drawing mode i will press q on my keyboard so i will be here now So as you can see what i have done is that i have just placed the uh, the cone on his head so he will look like he's becoming like a human unicorn now now to uh, apply dynamesh with that boolean effect these two sub tool have to be merged together so i have to go to my model over here this is the uh, my the character face and this is the cone and make sure this one is on this mode which is the add mode the combination mode of the boolean okay so that it will give me this result so if i will press the live boolean right now for example you can see that it shows this kind of result but if i will do the subtraction so it will be something like this which i don't want actually okay and i will just keep it in this way so i will go back here okay and i will go to the merge and I will merge this down and you will notice that it will give me this option I'll just press OK here now both of them you will notice are in one group okay so now they're on in one sub tool let's take a look at the geometry sub palette here and then we will go to the dynamash here and I will keep the resolution as it was before 128 because I think this is fine for my computer to handle at this stage. So what I will do now is that I will turn on the Dynamesh mode over here. And now as soon as I will turn on the Dynamesh mode, you will see that it is giving me an effect that this is kind of a part of this uh, like character. And if I will smooth this out with my smooth tool, it is even becoming more and more joined together so i can remove all these artifacts which are here on this uh, cone okay and then i will reinitialize control drag over here and you can see that if i will turn on my wireframe just notice it looks like it is actually coming out of it it is part of it it's not something that was uh, attached to it so this is a nice way of combining two objects together so you can add as many objects you want it's totally up to you and this is how it actually do the combination over here so addition works like this now let's do subtraction now let's go back to sub, uh, sub tool and append let's say a cylinder 
okay and what i want to do here is that i will just press e on my keyboard here let me turn on my perspective viewport here uh e make it smaller oops i have to be on this uh, cylinder there and let me pull this up all the way under this character and i will make it very small enough so that it will fit let me turn this on as well okay stretch this out and move it here let's use this cylinder to make a piercing hole in the ear okay so for that i just need to make it more smaller and a bit more stretched out and let's move it down here And let me give it a direction of the ear itself. So let's see if it is everything is fine and it's not going to affect any other object here. Okay, good enough. Now I will go to the subtract mode here, which is this one okay and then i will turn on uh, i'll go back to my drawing mode and i have my live boolean is turned on already so you can see the effect will look like this if i will apply the dynamash so i will turn off my live boolean now because what i need to do is that i need to up, uh, apply the dynamash on this so for uh, the dynamash they have to be merged so before merging you have to make sure whatever you want to do like suppose it have to be subtraction as you can see in the live boolean it is doing that and uh, they have to be a one sub tool so you have to make sure you uh, like uh, do all the necessary things what i have done so far and then i will go to the top object merge it down and I will press OK. And as you can see that I'm here with this object uh, with this object right now. Okay. So let me go to the subtraction option here. Oops. So you don't have to press here, don't do anything. But as you know, uh when we were uh applying this cylinder, we clicked on the subtraction and then what we did was that we merged these two together so if i will reinitialize my dynamash over here okay say for example control and drag so what it will do is that it will apply that subtraction mode it will bring that subtraction mode to it now as you can see it needs some smoothness or you can do some reinitialization back so it will let me move this outwards more to make this hole bigger. I think it's, it's better to make the hole bigger. BMV. Okay. Or, you know, uh, the cylinder when we were applying, we could make the cylinder much more bigger so that we can have a bigger hole over here. But we can still do this by applying this kind of thing here or increase the resolution. But in short we have the hole so let me do one thing here let me undo everything till we get back to where we were before okay so yep okay and Or you know that's fine but uh, what I'm trying to say over here is that if the this cylinder was bigger than uh, bigger before so it won't have this kind of issue okay that one we have it or what you can do is that before applying uh, reinitializing the dynamesh what you can do you can turn off the dynamesh and you can increase the resolution say for 512 and then re-dynamesh it 
so now you can see that it is much more better the code itself okay so this is how you will work on it you will just apply the cylinder you will just uh, subtract it okay and once the subtraction is there on your screen what you need to do is that you have to combine uh, both of them together then reinitialize the uh, sub uh, like uh, the dynamesh and once you will reinitialize it what it will do it will uh, try to find what kind of boolean was applied on it so as you know we applied subtraction so it will bring up back that subtraction and it will subtract that from here and then you can see that if the resolution is high so you will get a nice effect so before as the re uh, resolution was fairly low it was like 128 so i was not getting a good result but now i'm getting a good result so you can smooth out these detail if you want in the future you can use a smooth like strong smooth brush or you can use this brush so it's totally up to you okay so another uh you know uh boolean uh, option we have here is the sub uh, is the intersection but in dynamash only addition or you can say combination or merging will work union or whatever name you want to give it to it basically it is addition this works or the subtraction works but intersection it doesn't work with the dynamesh so even though booleans and dynamesh don't give you the same non-destructing workflow as a live boolean over here it does allow you to create smooth transition between shapes in a way that live boolean just can't so i hope you have understood about uh, the combination of dynamesh with the help of the boolean here and if you have liked this video click on the like button and please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to it yet and also i will highly appreciate if you can share my video on your social media account so i can get more more subscriber and i will try to upload uh, as soon as possible more and more challenges so you can uh, take part in the challenges and also uh, there will be prizes and but for that please i need more subscribers more followers more watch time hours so it will motivate me to do such thing so guys uh, till uh, we meet for the next class take care of yourself